Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. So as a new pilot, one of the most terrifying moments is when your Mavic Pro or any other drone loses connection with your mobile device or when your DJI Go 4 app crashes. Trust me, I know it has happened to me several times. So what should you do in a situation like that? In this long overdue episode of quick tips for your Mavic Pro, I'm gonna tell you. And I'm also gonna show you an amazing alternative to the DJI Care Refresh plan, drone insurance from State Farm. Ah, come on, you piece of shit. Seriously disturbing, right? Has it happened to you? I remember the first time I experienced my DJI Go4 app crashing as I was flying, and I will never forget the panic that I had. Was my Mavic gonna crash? Was it gonna fly away? Hey everyone, my name is Russ, and this is 51 Drones. If this is your first time here, I'd like to invite you to watch a few of my videos, and if you enjoy what you see, subscribe and see more. Now, I've been asked quite often, where do I get my ideas for my videos? And most of them just occur to me as I'm flying and experiencing things. But once in a while, you guys give me some great topics in the comments of my videos. So thank you for that. In this episode of Quick Tips for your Mavic Pro, I'm gonna discuss two things. What to do when your drone loses signal or your app crashes. And secondly, we're gonna discuss a great option for you to consider to insure your drone. And even though I call it quick tips for your Mavic Pro, this information actually applies to all of you. But I feel like I've been neglecting my Mavic Pro subscribers for so long, so we'll just call it that. So I'll get to the disconnect topic in just a minute. First, let's talk about an alternative to the DJI Care Refresh plan. Now, when you first purchase a drone from DJI, you have the option to purchase the DJI Care Refresh plan. This is basically an insurance plan for your drone that is offered by DJI. Different drones have different costs, and I'll put them up here on the screen so you can see what they are. But what are the benefits of Care Refresh? Well, it's easy to purchase right there on the DJI website, and it covers just about everything except for theft. However, there are many disadvantages. In order to be covered for any issues under the Care Refresh plan, you must have the drone in hand and ship it to DJI. So if it falls in 100 feet of water or it flies away never to be seen from again, you are out of luck. Another disadvantage of the Care Refresh plan is that it only covers your drone in the region that you purchased the drone. So if you covered it for the United States and you happen to crash your drone in Europe, it will not cover loss or repair. And finally, if you do require a replacement due to the fact that they can't repair it, you will pay a replacement fee. This is basically your deductible. This fee depends on which drone you have. So what is the best alternative to DJI Care Refresh? Well, in the United States, one great option is State Farm Personal Articles Insurance. So today, I'm gonna get State Farm Insurance on my Mavic Pro and take you guys with me through that process. All right, guys, I'm headed to State Farm Insurance right now, and we're gonna visit with our local agent. Her name is Lindsay, I believe. And Lindsay is gonna tell us uh, the process that we need to go through to uh, sign up for insurance for our drones. And today I'm just gonna insure the Mavic Pro. And the reason that I am only gonna insure the Mavic Pro with State Farm, is I'm gonna tell you in a little bit. There's something that I actually didn't know when you use State Farm your, for your insurance. And so let's head over there. Uh, let's see how much it costs. Let's see what it covers and everything like that. So here we go. So that was super, super easy and very, very cheap. Seriously, $60 for a year, full coverage, no deductible, covers theft, covers loss in the ocean. If you crash it into anything, it covers it. And $76 for all three drones, for my Mavic Pro, my Mavic Air, and my Mavic 2 Pro. If you don't have insurance on your drone right now, I highly recommend going to statefarm.com and I'm not sponsored by them or anything. So seriously worth checking out if you need insurance go to state farm super cheap super quick i was only in there for what 15 minutes 15 minutes to get insurance on your drone i mean seriously all right so let's head back and i'm going to tell you uh, all of the details 
and, and what's covered and how everything works. <laughs> Isn't this just lovely weather that we're having? I think this is our fourth straight day of fog. I mean, it's like I'm not meant to fly this winter. <laughs> so even though I was allowed to film the process, due to company policy, the agents were not allowed to speak to me on camera. But I will tell you, the process could not have been more simple. First thing I did is I called the agency to set up an appointment. I was able to actually get in on the same day, which was really cool. I sat down with the agent, Lindsay, and told her I would like to insure my drone. She said that would go under the personal article insurance. Now, if you don't know what personal article insurance is, it's amazing. It covers just about anything that you have. Jewelry, camera equipment, collectibles, computers, and yes, drones. All for an amazing low price. And the best thing is there's no deductible. The lowest policy plan is 12 months for $60 and it covers anything. And I mean pretty much anything. Theft, crash, weather. Now here's a list I made of situations that this insurance plan would cover for your drone. You may want to pause and check them out. I could also add my other drones as well as my camera equipment and the premium is about $76 for the entire year. Now here's the thing and I don't think many people know this and I didn't realize this as well but the policy will only cover recreational or hobby drone use. If you are flying as a commercial pilot and earning revenue with your drone then it is not covered. So if I happen to be using my Mavic Pro commercially and it crashes I am not covered. As a commercial pilot, you would need to secure some other type of drone insurance like Skywatch AI. Something that could cover both the drone as well as liability in case you damage anything or harm anyone. Also, keep in mind that the State Farm Personal Article Insurance only covers the drone and its accessories, batteries and such. It does not provide liability. Now, like I said previously, I am not endorsed by State Farm. I don't work for anyone there. Honestly, I don't even have State Farm insurance other than this, but they were pretty persuasive, so we may have to discuss more in the future. So anyway, check it out. Go to statefarm.com, type in your zip code, and get your local agent's phone number and give them a call. Now let's discuss the disconnect issue. There's two different issues here. The first one is simple. What do you do when you are flying and the DJI Go4 app crashes? It has happened to me quite often, and it's usually when I'm engaging one of the intelligent flight modes. For instance, for a while there, every time I would try to enable waypoints, the app would crash. So my first tip has to do with what to do actually before you fly, and that is put your mobile device into airplane mode. That way you won't have any phone calls or notifications disrupting your flight. Now, what if your app just randomly crashes? Well, when this happens, don't panic. Your drone has not lost connection. What to do first of all is make sure all other applications are closed. Then I simply reopen the DJI Go4 app after a few seconds, everything is fine. And this works about 95% of the time. But what if it doesn't work? Well, then the first thing, hopefully you launched from an area that is wide open and free of obstacles. All you need to do is hold down that return to home button on the remote and let the drone return to you. But what if you did not launch from an open area? Then I would let the Mavic return to you. And when it begins to descend, I would hold down the pause button to cancel return to home and then land it yourself manually. Now, the second issue and the more disturbing issue is when you actually lose video signal feed and it does not return. All right, so we're gonna head down this ravine here. A couple days ago, there was about 20 deer down here and uh, hopefully they're out now. It's kind of early. What? what the fuck? Come on. Oh, shit. First thing, once again, don't panic. Your drone will continue doing whatever you are doing. More than likely, you have not lost control of your drone. This is when you will need to fly using only the remote control. The first thing that I do is I go up. I increase my elevation. If you are in open airspace and you remain below 400 AGL, increasing your elevation often will help regain video feed. I'm going to bring it up and back around. Secondly, what I do is I pull the left control stick backwards. If you are flying away from you at the time of signal loss, this will usually regain signal. Now, what if neither of those work? Well, if you have visual line of sight, which you should, then you will need to have the ability to fly your drone back to you using the skills that I taught you in this video long ago. When you're flying your drone towards yourself, just remember that everything is reversed. And this is something that you should regularly practice. But what if you happen to not have visual line of sight? You've lost it momentarily or you got out a little bit too far. Then you need to rely on the display of your remote control. What you should do is push the control stick a bit to see if the horizontal distance increases or decreases. If it decreases, 
then keep going until the video feed is restored. If it does not reconnect after a few seconds, then you should engage the return to home. If your landing space is open, just let it do its thing. If it's not, cancel return to home as I stated earlier by holding down the pause button and land it manually. Like I said, it's very disturbing when you lose connection to your drone. It's the same feeling as when you almost get into a car accident. Your heart races, you might feel nauseous. It's just not a good feeling. But if you remain calm, take a deep breath, practice the things I just discussed, you will be just fine. So that's it for this quick tips episode. If anything I talked about today give you anything of value, hit that thumbs up button. Hey, down in the comments, give me some ideas about what other types of videos you guys would like to see. I really want to know what you guys need help with and I'll do my best to create some more useful content for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I want to thank you sincerely for watching today. As always, fly safe and fly smart.